All right, so here he is, the former UFC Bantamweight champion out of Russia, Pyotr Jan. Many believe he is on the short list of the best boxers in the UFC, but that says nothing of his takedown game, his submission game. This is a five-tool player as well-rounded a threat as we have in this Bantamweight division. All of that being said, most fighters that he faces are going to be trying to take him down and to limit his ability to use his hands at will. Going to be very interesting to see how the opposition approaches this one tonight. Both of these men can strike, but a lot of danger on the feet with Piotr Jan. We'll see if he can get the hands going here in this one. Piotr Jan, ladies and gentlemen, has stepped into the octagon. This time, he wants to leave with that championship belt. All right, so the 135-pound division has been owned by this man. He is showing no signs of slowing down, and not unlike some other champions we have, showing new wrinkles with every passing title. Defense. Every time he gets to the octagon, he looks better. There's something new. There's something improved about our champion. He's just one of those guys that will never take a day off. He will never allow for someone to be working when he, when he isn't. He's so intent on being dominant that he makes sure that he leaves no stone unturned. Tonight he has done that and he, is, he, he assures us that he's going to keep his championship. There were a few guys that could have gotten this title fight. He believes the most worthy opposition got this opportunity. Now the champion's job is to turn him back. And now our tail of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Pepper the Mercedes. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Kid Dynamite. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. All right, so here he is, the UFC champion, and this guy is all the rage. Right now, he might be the front runner for the fighter of the year, given the fact that he was able to knock out the number one contender in his last title defense, and to do so so emphatically in a fight that a lot of people thought was close on paper is really something that could take his career to the next level. Trying to follow that up here tonight. Most guys have succumbed to his power. We'll see if that holds true yet again tonight. Oh, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are crawling early. Those guys came to fight from the moment the referee said go. Boom! Big jab. Nice combination from Young. Oh, no! Big left hand! Oh, that right hand barely missed there. All right, nice jab there from Piotr Jan early in the fight. He has been criticized at times, though, for playing with his food a little bit early yeah. on in these matchups. Well, he's a bit of a slow starter, John. So, usually the jab comes out first from Piotr Jan because he's trying to build reads. So, he tries to pull something out of you that will allow him to start to build his game plan as the fight goes on. But, man, that dude has a fantastic jab. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. 
Just over two minutes, round one. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful. Oh. oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Oh, just open it up on him now. Oh, huge left. Big right hand. Blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. 20 seconds left. Nice shot inside by the champion. Second round, straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Now it's not a big deal, all right? All right, replay truck has been kept busy tonight as we get you some clips from that previous round, and maybe we can even isolate the strike that opened his cheek up. I mean, a cut on your cheek while it's in a better spot, it is still so hard to deal with. Every time that gets hit, it hurts. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, ahead. here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Nice one, two there. And blocks the shot there. Oh, nice. All right, well, that blow is busseting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got each other's love. Oh, he's got him hurt here. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round. Success with his more. Oh, another one. Oh, that's it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that right there is a high level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Kid Dynamite.